Good to see you all this morning. Today we choose to follow him. It doesn't matter about yesterday. The good news is that Jesus accomplished everything at the cross, and he said it is finished. So whatever was yesterday, today is a new day. And so today we stand, not only physically, but we stand knowing that he is the one that has covered us. He is the one where we find our confidence and where we can say, I am his. So this morning, we're going to worship him with everything that's within us, and we're going to declare with our mouth this important declaration that today, I choose to follow you. And it's important to declare it, because there's one that loves to come and discourage, but how many know that is not the voice of God? There is no condemnation in Christ. So we know the one that is there to, to, to kill and destroy and put you down, remind you of past, you know, today. Right now, in this moment, it has to be this even second, I choose to follow you. And that Jesus said it is finished. Nothing else can be added to that. Let's just rejoice in who he is. He is an awesome God. Amen. You can clap your hands. Feel free. We can do that. <laughs> Today. shaken we will not be moved as our gaze is upon you you're the one Lord that has overcome you are the victorious one would you speak over us your strength your hope your life your forgiveness your freedom and may we always run to you oh God 
May we always run to you, O oh God. And if we fall, may we get up and run to you, O oh God. And if we have no strength, then may we gaze up at you, O oh God. For we are found in you. You are so good, O oh God. You will not deny. Father, you saw us before we were even seen by men. There, as in Psalm 139, in our mother's womb, knit together that you knew us. You knew us before our first breath. So God, we were meant to turn our eyes to you. And oh, how you fill us. And oh, how you breathe in your presence. We will never be the same. It doesn't matter what we see. It doesn't matter the darkness. You are as day. You make it as day before you. There is no place we can flee from your presence. The darkness is as day before you. So we turn our eyes. We declare that this morning. And we see that darkness turn to light. If you see darkness, if you see discouragement, if you see people to your left or to the right that are without hope and you declare that yet in this thing our God will be glorified, let us declare it that the darkness must bow to the light because he has overcome the darkness. He has overcome all things and he reigns victorious and he is coming back. Oh God, that we would be ready. Father, I know right now, whether someone is here or watching three weeks from now, that you are God and that you speak over us. And we can trust you that you will speak over us more life than we've ever known. That you will still our fears and that un, un I don't even know how to say this. I'm thinking in French. <laughs> inconceivably <laughs> that he's given us strength at our weakest moment and how we can turn it into beauty and to restoration of not just you but generations and nations so as we stand today as we gaze upon him there are things connecting that need to be let's declare it with our whole heart this morning knowing that the one who loves us, he is able. Amen.
ses secrets in the light of his glory and raise so on in the light of his glory and raise turn our Church arise, you've overcome denial. Let's declare. 
Ever um, see what happens to fire, even the dullest of embers, when breath is brought to it, it can spark back into a raging fire. And as we sing this next song, that's a picture that, that just came to my mind I, I had to share with you, because when God breathes on us, he brings his fire his passion within our heart for the lost, his passion that, that is in us for even different things, but together is so powerful as he breathes on us. Let's raise our hands to him this morning. Let's declare that you are life and you are love and we have no love to give. We need you to breathe on our human hearts, our frail, sinful hearts, cold hearts, Lord. And that you would breathe your fire, your true love on our hearts. That we would burn for you, Lord. That we would burn as your church. That we would not be hot. Uh, that we would be hot. That we would not be cold or lukewarm, but inflamed. That that through us, Lord, oh God, that you would continue to just spread that fire like a wildfire in our nation, Lord God. Wherever we set the, the, foot, the, the soles of our feet, God, you are there also. If we are not spreading that fire, we need you to do more. We need more of you, less of us, more of your fire and less of us. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit that you expose the condition of our hearts and that you are so good, just like an ax, to come with fire and to, to, to push us out of our comfort zones, of wanting to be hidden away, thinking I got nothing to offer, I have nothing to say and nothing to give, and you say, go, I am the flame in your heart. I am the flame. I am the one that breathes. Without me, you have nothing. But with my spirit, you have everything. Father, I thank you for your word right now. That you said that we would accomplish greater things. That what we even see that Jesus has done by the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you and we honor you in this place. And we thank you that you would choose to use us. But God, we need you to touch our heart. We need you to take this breath that we just pour out before you this morning in our worship. And that, God, you would breathe, that you would breathe life, that you would breathe fire, that it would consume our thoughts, our minds, our lives, that we would be, just as Jesus said, about our Father's business. Even at a young age, I am about my Father's business. 
that as we see things in this world that we will be about our father's business that his will would be done on earth as it is in heaven as you've taught us to pray we needed to declare that you taught us that on earth as it is in heaven would you burn in our hearts oh god would you set that flame lord we want to foster to carry it well to live well about our father's business with every breath oh god every breath You give life, you give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. Let's declare you give life, you give life. So we 